Hey y'all, my name is Crystal Cole and I was one of the actors on Rudolph and Red Reindeer in the National Tour. I was one of the girl elves and I was also a puppeteer for uh, one of the toys. I was an airplane and one of the misfit toys. Hi, I'm Sarah and I play Rudolph. Hi everybody, my name's Nick. I played Hermie. Hey everybody, I'm Tim Hurl and I played Yukon Cornelius. Bam! This guy right here. Hi, I'm Audrey. I played Clarice on the tour. Hi, my name's Audrey and I played an elf and a doe and the flying elf. Hi, I'm Derek Lou Miller, and I was the male swing on the Yukon tour of the Red Nose Reindeer. My name is Andreas Durand, and I was the Bumble. I also understudied for Santa Claus, Yukon Cornelius, Mr. Donner, Sam the Snowman and Snowkin. All right, so let's answer some questions. It's tough for me to say what a favorite of anything is. I don't really choose favorites, but I like a lot of things. I like pretty much everything. My favorite part of the show is flying. So what we're doing now is a non-flying rehearsal because the space in this theater is a little bit dangerous to fly, so this is our alternate choreography. Maybe it's because I like pretty much everything that I don't choose favorites. My favorite part about the show was at the end, um, singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and all the kids running up to the stage and just getting really into it. At that point, it didn't feel like a show. It felt more like an experience, you know? Like we were really sharing this gift. My favorite part of the show was all the character development that we all kind of did and the relationships that formed. So, you know, Hermie and Sibby Sue Bubbles may or may not be engaged. <laughs> it might be a thing. My favorite part of the show, I think, was probably that part right before I entered for my first scene because I got to sort of play with the all of the bucks that were just about to enter the scene too and we just, I don't know, we had backstage banter. It was fun. I would have to say that my favorite part of the show was actually during the entract. Every single show we would um, gather around in a circle and we would do our happy dance. Um, super simple choreography and super dorky every time. And that was just such a wonderful moment. At some point, people caught on so much that um, people would run from the other side of the stage and join us last minute and then run back to make their entrance um, for the top of act two. So that was, that was, that was really fun. <laughs> My favorite part of the show was basically um, not even a part of the actual show is when um, Abby, who played Mrs. Claus, who I'm sure you know, um, would walk by me in the very beginning and we would just cough at each other. And that really set me up for the rest of the show and it kept me going. It's Tuesday and we're in Spokane, Washington. Today is our opening day. Hi. Um, this is Edred. How are you? He plays Donner. I play Donner. And Santa Claus, Andrew. Um, and we have two runs today. But first, they're having a rehearsal with all the ladies on the stage. And it's uh, pretty awesome. What's going on? So, no cursing. Here's April. Because we have students. Hi. Good to see you again. Who's this for? This is for my kids at OSHA. Hi! Oh. Yay! Okay, so hey, bye! It was tough for me to say that there's a specific part of the show that I like because I was inside of a costume the whole time, so every part of the show was essentially the same to me. <laughs> get inside this big harness and 
strap myself in and then lift this giant uh, 13 foot tall puppet and I couldn't see except for a small little gap about that big between my feet and then I'd have uh, people telling me oh turn left turn right stop in fact every single time I got off stage one of the stagehands had a flashlight that he would point right at the front of my suit <laughs> I would follow the light <laughs> So it all seemed kind of the same to me. It was a lot of silliness. Another one of my favorite parts was uh, when I, as Yukon Cornelius, went to uh, Rudolph and then Rudolph asked, uh, what's fame and fortune? And I said, it's anything you want. Anything that's waiting for you out there in the great frozen beyond. <laughs> My favorite part was playing a reindeer. Since I was a male swing, I wasn't in too many parts of the show, but I, there was one part where I got to dance as a reindeer during Jingle Jingle. It was hard having to dance with a huge reindeer on my head, but it was a lot of fun, really challenging, and I learned a lot. My favorite part of the tour, oh my goodness, I mean, seeing all the different cities, definitely. I mean, I some cities that I didn't even think I was going to see ever in my life, some cities I didn't think I would enjoy half as much as I did. Mist and sip. It's a water bottle and a mister. My favorite part about tour was getting to see a bunch of places that I would have never gone to on my own and just discovering new places and new restaurants and just new experiences. I think my favorite part about touring would have to be visiting the entire United States. We got to see some parts of the United States that I had never seen before. And one of my favorite aspects about touring is something that I've always wanted to do was bring a show to people who normally don't get to see this kind of show. And just seeing kids' faces light up in the audience as they got to see their favorite Christmas classic come to life really made it all worth it. But my favorite part about tour was going into all these different small cities, a couple big cities, but all these different places and, and getting a feel for how people live there, what people do there, going to Fayetteville, Arkansas, and just seeing this vibrant culture there that you would normally, off the top of your head, associate with Fayetteville, Arkansas. And the entire country is made up of people just like us trying to make a living. Go to Detroit. Detroit is a wonderful city. My favorite part of the tour maybe was was getting to know all of the people that you got so close with because you're living and working and breathing and eating together. Yeah, I don't know, just really incredible people. Besides traveling and seeing all these, you know, the obvious, besides the obvious, seeing and traveling to all these different places, I would have to say the friendships that I made and the connections that I made. I made some really, really just wonderful people and I hope that these people will be, you know, my close friends for a long time. Good morning, it's 6.45 a.m. Absolute favorite part of tour, of the show, of everything. That was the food. 
Mm. California has good food. Los Angeles, sure. You're gonna go to New York. New York has fantastic food. The Midwest, oh, other parts of this country. There's a lot more butter, a lot more meat. I like how big the portions are. There was a diner somewhere. I don't remember. When you're on a bus for eight hours in the day, you don't really know where you are. Suffice it to say, it was a small diner. I ordered something called the Gut Buster, oh, which was a skillet bigger than my face, loaded with breakfast potatoes, sausage, bacon, onions, peppers, cheese, sausage gravy, mushrooms, biscuits on the side. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was my favorite part. Good morning, it's Sunday and we're in Salt Lake City. We've had, um, this is like our fifth show at this theater, which is lovely because um, we've done a lot of one-nighters, so it's kind of been uh, nice to sit here for a while. But anyway, here's our call board. Sign-in sheets, our schedule, directory, all that fun stuff, some notes, and this is a really cool theater because um, they've uh, they've done a lot of different shows here, and every cast that comes in, hi, every cast that comes in does um, a, a, like a mural on the wall, and they kind of tag it. Hello, hi. <laughs> um, so we've had a lot of national tours here. And um, it's pretty amazing to be in the presence of such greatness. So I'm just gonna kind of run down the halls. You can see everything because it's pretty amazing. Hey! hey. Um, word has it that we're gonna do it too, so I'll make sure to post that as well. But anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So hope you guys are doing well. And uh, we're gonna do a little pep talk before this last show. We're leaving right before or right after our show today so um, then we go to Wyoming and then all kinds of other places as well. So seven years ago I opened in Salt Lake City with the national tour of cats and I found my name from Yay. seven years ago and now I'm back with Rudolph and still playing an animal so <laughs> <laughs> yeah things that I learned. One was that I really liked tour life. I think that's a thing that you don't really know until you try it. The living out of the hotels, the changing location every day, the being on a bus. For me that really made a lot of sense. And that's good to know because now I'll audition for other tours. Something that our wonderful music supervisor taught me is you trust the material, it will carry you through. You don't have to add any special things like any O's or M's or... <laughs> and I have Abby to thank for that, so... Something that I learned was how to pack lightly. And I also learned that, um... That humidity, I, I didn't realize it was something I was so sensitive to until I was changing humidity level like every day. Um, going from Salt Lake to Kennewick, Washington and then back to California was something that I had a hard time with. And so sometimes being in the drier areas, that was particularly hard. So I ended up getting a humidifier, which was not something I'd ever had to do before. But you learn. And the thing that I learned is that Kathy Rigby glitter will be on the floor in every theater until the end of time. <laughs> I think the most important thing that I learned is actually less about theater, musical theater and performing and the business itself, and more about myself. I learned how valuable it was to value and respect my own boundaries, um, to speak up for myself when something wasn't right and to ask for things. And it's really important to know when to not be a people pleaser. You know, you owe yourself that, that value and that self-worth um, to respect yourself. So that was the biggest lesson. Sometimes you'd be on a bus driving through very rural 
part of the country and you'd hear other people like, what do people even do out here for a living? Why, why would people be here? Seeing just all different aspects of life uh, has always been something that I, that I cherish, something that uh, changes my perspective. You learn a couple things. You learn that there's, there's a vast spectrum of the way that people live, but at the same time, we are all very, very similar in our desires and things that make us laugh and, and smile. I learned a lot. Um, being the male swing, I am understanding six different roles, so I had to learn to be very organized on top of everything. Um, the most stressful part was when I had to go on for one of the roles halfway through the show. Five minutes before act two went on, I had to go on. So uh, I, I learned a lot about myself and how like organized I am and how on top of it, you can never second guess yourself. I think that's one thing, the most important thing I learned was never second guess yourself. If you prepared and you learned and you know it, then just trust that. Being on tour is a lot of fun. It's a lot of travel. It's a lot of work. I love going to city to city. Got to meet a lot of new people. Um, I love just dropping off my suitcase and just taking off and going for wherever. One other piece of advice, pack light. Pack light. I had my boots, a pair of boots. They're fancy enough for dress shoes. Sneakers, sandals, if you want, it's all you need. Pack light, it'll be easier that way. And get an organization system. You open up your suitcase and everything is packed in individual little bags. It saves a lot of time. Organization is key when it comes to traveling. You bring a blanket and a little pillow for the bus. You'll never regret that, never. One piece of advice I would give would be uh, trust yourself. You can never doubt yourself. You're the only person that you have. And if you fight for yourself and fight for anything you believe in, anything can happen. Whatever that may be, you can make it happen. Because you're the only person there for yourself, so always trust yourself and believe in yourself. I hope that helps. I don't know if that's interesting to you, but um, I had a really great time, and I'm sure some of you will go on tour someday too. Anytime you have an opportunity to tour, take it. Really, there's nothing better than getting paid to see new places. Everything was great, um, and I had a really good time. Anyways. Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, have a good time. Enjoy life. Maybe I'll see you one day. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right. Uh, see you later. Bye. Bye. Good luck with everything. You're going to be incredible. This is take 17. One, two, three, five. <laughs>
Bye. 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 Bye.